I just found this amazing AI in which you can actually go on and add automations. You can go and view different prices for different products. Just like I have a watch on this gaming mouse product from Amazon, as you can see, and you can even go on and check your journal. It's gonna record each and every activity of what you're doing. Also, you can go and use different use cases. You can go with searching the web, explain anything. You can reply to your emails or whatever you want. Then you can rewrite the content and repurpose it. You can compose emails. But before diving into the demo of how you're gonna use it, I wanna make sure that you know that this is a Chrome extension and you can do everything that I just mentioned inside your browser. And if you scroll down on their homepage, you can see that it is your Gmail assistant, your answer engine, YouTube summarizer. It's also your writer and you can track page updates as well. It's an all-in-one package with automations implanted. So I'm really excited about it and without further chatter, let's dive right into it and explore how amazing this is. So if you go to the Chrome Web Store and you type Harp AI, you can get their extension from there and you can add that to your browser. I already have it. If you click here, you can see this is my extension. So let's go and start with some use cases here. So let's say I'm here on Amazon. I want to track the price of this certain product. So what I can do is I can open it up and here I can open up my Harp AI by just pressing Alt A. And if you're on Mac, you can just press Control A to open up Harp AI. And then what you can do is you can go here in the automate section and you can go and add an automation. So I'm going to add another automation here. Now what you're going to do is click on the custom task here and you're going to monitor the price. So what you're going to do is you're going to configure a few things like you have to monitor the price. Yes. For the trigger, if the price changes. So the trigger for this automation is if the price changes, it's going to do a couple of actions. So if you click on actions and integrations, you can go on and make a sound and you can even go and email yourself once the price changes. Let's say I want to email myself once the price changes. So I'm just going to put in my email address here. There you go. So this way you can actually go on and monitor price for different products that you're on the lookout for. So that is a fun automation and you can do a couple of more things like before running this automation you have to make sure that the page is idle is already loaded and stuff like that so you can go on and schedule it if you want to run this every three hours or if you want to run this every minute it's really up to you but i'm gonna go with three hours the default one and let's hit start so what it's gonna do is it's gonna keep running this keep getting the price for this product and after three hours it's gonna rerun this and check whether the price decreased or increased and send me an email on that Right. So this was an amazing use case that I was really excited about and I already have this automation in my dashboard. So this was one of the use cases that Harp AI comes with, but this does not limit it to just this. Now that automation was just one use case of Harp AI. But if you go to Skill Curve's website, we have tons of different learning materials. So one of these is this blog about how you're going to get your cloud architect certification. So what if I don't want to read through all of this blog because it's quite lengthy and I want to just get the summary of this. So what you can do is you can press Alt A to get your Harp AI and here you can actually ask it to summarize everything for you. Just click on summary and it's going to summarize everything of this page. There you go. So you have the key takeaways, you have the complete summary and you have the related queries. If you want to go more in depth, you can go on with any of these related queries. And this is not all. You can just click on repurpose content and it will repurpose it. If you want to shorten it, it's going to shorten it. It's really mind blowing how good this is. So I'm just going to click done here. So let's say if you're blank about the use cases, just press slash and it's going to give you all the use cases that you can go with. You have use cases like reply. You can reply to any draft in your own voice and tone. You can rewrite content, compose it. You can go in and make it a search agent. You can summarize that we just did. Now let's go and actually try out the YouTube video summary. So if I go to Skill Curve YouTube. So we are here at the Skill Curve YouTube. And as you can see, I've opened up one of our videos. And what you can do is you can open up your Harpa AI right here. And you can ask it to actually summarize this YouTube video. So just press slash and scroll down to YouTube video summary and just click on this. Now what this would do is it knows what video you're watching and it's going to go and summarize that video for you. And there you go. As you can see, it went on and summarized the key takeaways for me as I have chosen the key takeaways option here. So it gave me some key takeaways with the timeline that this key takeaways on, which is really mind blowing. And you can go and shorten this. You can go with main ideas or if you want to add any comment, you can click here. But I think this is more than enough. Let's go and clear this chat. Now it's time 
for one of my favorite use cases, which is to actually extract data from any website. So let's say I want to extract the data of the apps that are the top AI art generators. So let's scroll down and you will find this option to extract data from this web page. So let's click on that. And now what this would do is it would ask you if you want to get a tabular output or you want facts or contacts or to-do list. So I want the data in tabular output. So let's click on tabular here and it's gonna go and extract everything for you. It's gonna go and extract all the data from this web page that you're viewing right now. And it's gonna place that inside a table for you, which is really mind blowing. You can go and scrape data from any website just by clicking one option in the Harpa AI. There you go. So we have the key and value. And if you scroll down, you can see the pricing for everything. Like the pricing for DALI is this, the pricing of Bing is free, the pricing of uh, DALI 3 is $20 per month with ChatGPT Plus. And as for the pricing for Midjourney starts from $10. So this way you can get useful information without having to read the whole article. And you can even repurpose this data and use this somewhere else. And to be honest, this is not all. If you just press slash, you can see tons and tons of different use cases that you can go with. You can go with generating a keyword report here if you want to check out the keywords, the SEO keywords that this article is using. You can go with the content analyzer and much more. And there are tons and tons of different options here. I mean, I mean, there's a never ending list of these options and I cannot compose everything in one video because this is quite huge. But what I would suggest is you can go on and use whichever option you see fit. For, but for me, the most useful options were how to automate any page and how to get the summary out of anything, how to summarize your YouTube and how to extract data. These four use cases were the best for me and I showcased them. And I really wanted to show you guys how amazing these are. I want to make sure that you know that this is not going to be a free tool. You will have to pay to use this. So if you click on upgrade, you're going to have to pay $12 a month. Or if you want to go with the annual plan, you can pay $144. But what this would do is it would give you around 5 million tokens per month, which is really mind blowing. So you can actually use this if you really want to do that. But that is completely your choice and you can choose that. But again, I will say this is a really huge huge AI and you can pretty much do anything inside your browser using it. You can go and summarize YouTube, you can go and summarize blogs and you can go and extract data from anywhere, which is really mind blowing. So I would humbly again suggest you go and try this out. This is an amazing tool. With that said, I want to wrap this video up. I hope this video was helpful and I was really excited to share this amazing tool with you guys. If you found this video insightful, hit the like button. Share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below. Ring the notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Till then, stay curious and keep exploring.